now we have Visual Studio installed, I'm going to come to the Start menu and scroll down to Visual Studio 2019 and find it in my list of applications. I also have a tile set up on my Start menu, and you, or you could have it on your desktop. Either way, I'm going to start Visual Studio 2019. And over on the left, I have a listing of projects I've been working on. I can open those up, but all I want to create now is a new project. So I'm going to come to create a new project and click that button down here in the bottom right. And the default is a console app. Now if you look at a lot of resources, other books on C Sharp, they often start with console apps. It's a command line interface. But we're going to start with actual GUI projects, graphical user interface is what GUI stands for. We're going to create projects for the Windows platform. As you scroll through this list, you see there's all kinds of things you can create in Visual Studio with various languages. Now the one we really want is a Windows Form app for the .NET framework. I can click that and create it. I'm going to show you another way though to get there a little bit faster. Since I've already, already used that template, I have recent project templates over here. I can click that. But your first time through, you won't have that. One thing you can do is up here at the top, you can go to language and choose which language you want. In this case, we want C Sharp and the platform we want to work with, which is Windows. Now there's also a project type here, and that can be used to create other uh, templates. Right now we just have C Sharp and Windows. We have a little smaller list here. I'm going to scroll through that list, and there's my Windows Forms app. So for most of this course, for the CIS 162 AD and CIS 262 AD, we will primarily be working with Windows Forms app. Now when we get into creating cross-platform apps with Xamarin, then we'll be creating mobile apps. But that'll come much later in the course. So those are the two kind of projects we're primarily going to do in this, in this uh, course. So again, we'll go back down to my Windows Forms app. I'm just going to click on that and choose Next. Get another dialog box here. This one's asking for a project name. By default, our projects, project names are given a name of Windows Forms App 1, Windows Forms App 2, Windows Forms App 3. Those are not very meaningful. And it's really confusing if you have a directory of a whole bunch of Windows Forms App numbered, you don't know what they are. So one of my rules in creating a new project is always give your project a meaningful name. I'm going to call this one 00. It's sort of an introductory workflow. Um, we did that simple calculator earlier where we created a storyboard and looked at how to code it. So I'm going to create that 00, zero simple calculator. And then I can choose a location. By default, your files are going to go into your user directory, into a source subfolder, and a repos subfolder. Repos stands for repository. Repositories are kind of tied to Git or GitHub. And Git and GitHub is a way of managing your files and your projects in working with other people. We'll talk about Git and GitHub much later in the course. If you want to change this location, you may do so. You can use the drop down arrow to find a new location, or you can browse using the button here. Maybe you want to put those on a thumb drive, or um, you have another folder set up for your coursework. So, wherever you want to put that, feel free to do that. Our solution name basically is going to reflect the project name for the most part. And by the way, the project names and solution names can have spaces. Uh, you can use underscores, you can use dashes. I would avoid any other special characters. And then we can choose the framework. The .NET framework is what allows our projects to run. I'm going to leave this as the most, as the current one, .NET Framework 4.72 that I have installed, but I can choose others. But if you want to target maybe an older version of Windows, I might choose a different framework. But for now, the main thing you like to change is the project name and make sure it's going to the correct location. I'm going to click Create. And here then is Visual Studio 
with the beginning of my project, I have a window created here, which we call a form. In the next video, I'm going to talk about this development environment, this integrated development environment we call an IDE. And we'll explore the different panels and we'll walk you through a workflow of creating the simple calculator that we basically designed in a previous lesson. So go on to the next video.